Hi, good evening, Mr. Francisco and Anna Elizabeth. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, Mr. Francisco? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great. And you? Are you working? Are you working? Probably. Good evening. Good evening, Nancy. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Fine, fine. And good. you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right. So I can see also Anna Elizabeth. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And Great. you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. All right. And what about Mr. Antonio Ruano? Hello. No words. <laughs> All right, so Apner, good evening, Apner. Good evening, teacher. Are you going to participate tonight? Uh, yes, and uh, um, my take a uh, sleep on my son. Okay. Cool. And please, no thank problem. You. No problem. Okay, thank you. All right. So, let's see. good evening, Mr. Daniel Castro. Um, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Oscar. Okay. Good so, evening. Hello, good evening. It's eight o'clock, so we're going to wait only for two minutes for the rest of your classmates to join the class so we can start with the presentation. So we have a lot of activities to do tonight, right? Because we have a review. So tonight will be like the perfect time to ask any questions about previous topics, right? So maybe something you didn't understand or something that it was not clear. So we can practice it today. Or tonight, actually. <laughs> Let's see, team. One more minute, actually, one more minute. Okay, let's see. In the meantime, let me share the tongue twister, people. Okay, there is. Okay, eight, two, all right, so we can start right now with this one. You know, as every night, I like to start the class with a tongue twister, right, so we can practice our pronunciation. And this one is going to be very easy for you, all right? So take a look at this one and try to practice it, right, as much as you can, so you can uh, check your pronunciation as well. All right, hello, good evening, Erling, Irma, good evening. All right, so let's see the team. Good evening, teacher. Hi. All right, so let's see. Let me just repeat it with you. It will says it will say here. One second. It says here it is. If two witches, repeat everybody. If two witches. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Is two witches. Very good. We're watching. I'm not watch. watching. Two watches. Two watches. Which, 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 
And then we repeat the same words again. We'll be like, if two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Excellent. So I will give you right now just a couple of minutes, right? Two minutes so you can practice it. All right. Remember, if you have questions about how do you pronounce any of the words, let me know so I can help you, okay? So practice, you have two minutes right now. I'm gonna set my alarm here, all right? Done, two minutes. All right, all right, questions, questions? No questions, no questions? Remember, if two witches were watching two watches, which witch will watch which watch? If two witches were watching two watches, which witch will watch which watch? Easy, easy, easy. You still have some time to practice. Keep practicing, keep practicing. Yes, I wanna see you practicing there, there. All right, so very good. Mm -hmm. Look at that, Irma practicing a lot. Mm -hmm. Mauricio practicing a lot too. Mm -hmm. Possible volunteer. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Erling enjoying the food, practicing at the same time. <laughs> All right. So let's see the team. One more minute, people. One more minute. One more minute. So to practice this one, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Good evening, Mr. Giovanni. Hello. Mr. Kevin Santos. What a surprise. Good evening. So let's see here. David, Sandra, good evening also. Okay. There you go. Almost time, almost time, people, almost time. So there you go, excellent. It's time for me to select some volunteers. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Uh-huh, who wants to be a volunteer? Just one person, please. Excellent, Giovanni, that's the attitude, all right? So amazing, go ahead, my friend. Okay, these two watches were watching to watch it, which wa which which will watch which watch is to watch it, world watching to watch it, which 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 will watch it, which what <laughs> <laughs> don't worry don't worry you did good just be careful with some words this one right here my friend you are pronouncing watches and this is supposed to be witches repeat it Okay, teacher, witches. witches. Witches, exactly, right? If witches. two witches were watching two watches, which witch would, remember? This sounds like a long U, right? Would, repeat it. Would, would. Perfect, perfect. You want to try again? Okay. Go ahead. It's two, how many teacher? Witches, witches. Witches, okay. It's two witches were watching two watches, which, which, Will what which what is two witches were watching two watches which which will watch which watching <laughs> excellent thank you thank you thank you thank you that was actually better all right so congratulations you were doing a very good job thank you and thank you for being a volunteer all right thank you uh, mr laines all right any other volunteer 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 Mm. Oh my God, just one person, please. Erling, now that you finished the food, you can participate. Excellent. That's very good. <laughs> uh, all right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, if two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch with which watch? If two witches were watching two watches, which witch would watch which watch? 
Excellent, super easy for you. Very good job as well. So I like it, I like it. Super, super good, all right? Thank you, my friend. Okay, anybody else? Any other volunteer? We have a lot of people here, right? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. All right. So let's see here. No volunteers? No, people, impossible. Okay, I'll select the next volunteer. Let's see. All right. Maria! Hello, Maria. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Maria. Don't worry. You can select the next person. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. If, if two witches were washing, two watches wish with wool wash, wish wash. If two witches were washing, two watches wish with wool wash, wish watch. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. Right. So be careful just with like the sound of the, the syllable here. All right. So watch. All right. Watch. 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 Porque watch es como lavar. Y este es watch del verbo ver o de la palabra reloj. Right. So watch. Okay. Watch. Okay. Watch. Exactly. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Tell me, Maria, who is the next person and why Irma? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I will select uh, Carla Milena. Mm -hmm. Carlita, good evening. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> All right, excellent. So let's just start right now. Ready? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Um, if two witches were watching two watches, which which would watch which watch if two witches were watching two watches which which would watch which watch excellent thank you very much right super easy for you right i like it i like it good job good job all right thank you all right carlita tell me who is the next person okay um <laughs> <laughs> Ana Elizabeth ya pasó. No. <laughs> Surprise. There you go. Ay, se me fue el internet. No. Ana Elizabeth. Ok. If the wishes were watching the watches, wish which wall, what which was. If the wishes were watching the watches, wish which wall, what which what. There you go. Exactly. Thank you very much. I like it. It's that easy. To be honest, it's really easy, right? So let's see. Thank you, Anita. Now tell me, who is the next person? Uh, Nancy. Nancy. All right. Hello, Nancy. Hello. Thank you. All right. <coughs> okay. If two witches were watching two watches, which which would watch which watch? If the witches were watching to watches, wish which wall, watch which watch. Thank you. That was actually very good. I liked it. Good job. All right. So let me send the reaction here because it got stuck. All right. So let's see. Good job. Good job. Now, Nancy, do you have your big team already? <laughs> okay. Um Ay, es que hay bastantes oyentes. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Uh, Sonia, veo que no está de oyente. Let's see. Hello, Sonia. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Tell us. Okay. I will try, teacher. You can do it. You can do it. Uh -huh. Okay. If two witches were watching two watches, which which would watch? Which watch is if two witches were watching two watches, which which would watch which watch? Excellent. You see, not that difficult, <laughs> right? So very good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So good, 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 excellent. So who's gonna be the next person, Sonia? Okay, um Erling. Erling. 
Again, Erling. <laughs> no, Erling already participated. No. O, ah, ok. O, o quiso decir Irma. <laughs> <laughs> o María. María already participated also. William. También. Ay, acaba de entrar, Sonia. <laughs> Right. Sí, acabo de entrar. No se preocupe, vamos a dejar, vamos a dejar ahí con Irma. Entonces. Okay. If two witches were watching two watches, which which were watch, which watch? If two witches were watching two watches, which which were watch, which watch? There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. You see, not that difficult, right? Very good job. Good job. Good job. All right, so let's see this one. ¿Quién se me escondió aquí? Quiero ver. Mauricio Antonio. What are you? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Okay. We want to hear you. Okay. It's to which we're watching. Watches with which will watch which watch is to watch it we're watching to watch which which will watch which watch thank you thank you very much for trying right truly really appreciate it right all right we're going to stop right here and continue with the next activity thank you everybody for participating remember the more you participate they actually uh, the better you get right so thank you very much for participating with this one now, ladies and gentlemen, so here we have some words that we need to practice here, all right? So let's see this one. All right. Tell me if you see the new screen. <coughs> Excuse me, uh-huh. Do you see yes. it? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Yes. All right. In yeah. that wheel, you know, that's how you say ruleta, wheel or rueda, right? We are. We have ten words. Ten words that we are going to uh, review again, right? So we are going to review the meaning and how do you use it, etc. Right? Para ver si se acuerdan del de, tema. All right. Who wants to start with the first one? Quiere que dar vuelta, you know, to the wheel for the first time. Let's see. Volunteer. A ver qué palabra le sale. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No volunteers. Who is it? Who is it? Daniel. <laughs> All right. Come on, people. Just you just have to select here spin, and that's it. Any volunteer? Come on, don't be shy. All right. Let's see this one. Okay, Erling. Hello, Erling. Help me with the first one, right? Hi, teacher. Right, so, vamos a ver qué palabra le toca. Okay. Don't worry, Erling. You will select the next person, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, veamos. Daniel. Vamos a ver, Erling, esta palabra es for you. Okay. Regards. Regards. Uh huh. What was the meaning of regards? Uh, what was the meaning of regards? Yeah. Cuando esto tiene que ver con el email. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, okay. Exactly, but Ana I, Elizabeth, I nos quiere ayudar ahí. Veamos qué dice Ana Elizabeth. Saludos. Saludos. Uh -huh. Regards. Exactly. Okay, era Erling. Yes, I, I remember that uh, it was for the email, but no recordaba. Don't worry. It's Now you got saludos, right? Saludos. Thank you, <laughs> uh, Anna, for yeah. helping us with that. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So now, uh, who wants to be the next one? Uh huh. Ana Luisa. Okay, Anna. Go ahead. Vamos, let's see what word is it. Uy, what is it? Uh 
There you go. How do you pronounce this, people? How do you pronounce it? Salutation. Salutation. Exactly. Right? So, what is the meaning, Anna? What is the meaning, people? Saludo. Saludo. All right. Saludo. Or let's pay attention. Saludo. ¿Y cuál sería la diferencia? What's the difference between salutation and regards? Salutation is uh, al inicio y regard es al final. Exactly, that is correct. Salutation sería como la like el saludo, like como la presentación, of course. Y um, the other word, which is regards, es como cuando decimos saludos, you know, de despedida, right? So very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Anna Elizabeth, tell me who's going to be the next person. Mm -hmm. Um, William. William. Hello, William. Hello, Ray. Okay, let's see what the word is going to be. Okay. Punctual. All right. So what is it? Puntual. <laughs> Puntual. That's it. To be on time in the company, right? Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. The next person who is it, Giovanni? Ahorita le digo, teacher. Bueno, apaguen las cámaras, ¿verdad? Right? Don't turn the camera off. <laughs> Nancy. Nancy, all right? Nancy, let's see. <laughs> it never stops, right? So it says manners. All right. What are manners? Modales. Los modales. Modales. Modales, modales, modales. All right. So, and let's just go ahead and check this one. All right. Thank you. And Nancy, tell me who is going to be the next person. Mm, okay. Marta Marisol. Marta. Marta, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, Marta. Let's see what the word is going to be for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what is it? Guidelines. All right. What are the guidelines, people? Pautas. Las pautas, exactly. Very good. Las pautas, right? Thank you. All right. Who's the next person? Okay. Um, Maria. Maria. Thank you, Martha. All right. Maria, Maria. All right, Maria. Hello, teacher. Let's see what your word is going to be. Ah, let's see. Uh -huh. What is Etiqueta. it? Etiqueta. Etiqueta. What is that? What is that? Como la viñeta de la camisa. <laughs> um, I forget. ¿Qué me puede dar? What is etiquette, people? Um. Mm -hmm. What is it? Give me you that. Um, this. 
Yes. Esos cuadernos. Um, it's like when you have a communication zone important with your employees. All right, exactly right. So basically, they are like rules. Remember, all right? Yes. Yeah, they are like rules you need to follow. Uh, you know, depending on the area you're talking about, like it could be emails, it could be um, communication face to face, etc. Right. So thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. All right, hey, Maria. Who is the next person? Um. Mauricio Antonio Ruano. Okay, thank you, Mauricio. Let's see what the word is going to be for you. Okay, Mauricio, that is your word, polite. What is it? Hello, Mauricio. Política. No. Uh, uh, uh. Cortés. Cortés. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you. Thank you for that one. It means Cortés. That is correct. All right. And uh, let's see this one right here. Thank you. The next person, Mauricio, who is it? Ana Luisa. Ana Luisa. Hello, Ana Luisa. What is behavior? Hello. Mm, no sé si es como comportamiento. Bitch. Pues sabe que no es como eso. Es eso, my friend. That is correct. All right. <laughs> so, good job. Good job. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you. May Ana Luisa, who's going to be the next person? Okay. Well, I don't know who has participated. Um, Nancy. I'm Nancy. All right, sorry, Nancy. <laughs> All right, so. Abner. Oh, Abner, no sé si ya está de regreso. Abner. No yet. All right. Bueno, ahí le falta Irma. Le falta my, my, uh, Carla. Uh -huh. Cualquiera de las dos. Ok, Carla. Va, ok, excelente. All right, let's see, Carlita, what is it going to be? Ok, easy, 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 easy. What is it? Asunto. That is correct. Asunto. Thank you. Easy for you. And uh -huh, Irma, the last one is for you. Late comer. What is a late comer? Recién llegado. Un recién llegado. Mm -mm. O sea, sí, pero ¿por qué recién llegado? Eh, si lo estamos hablando sobre el, como por ejemplo el email que estaban practicando ayer, si me equivoco, ando medio desincronizada. <risa> ¿Quién nos ayuda, people? Let's see. Ajá. ¿Es un latecomer? Remember que viene de late. Listo. Un cierto. Exactly, un tardista. All right, so a person who arrives late. Let me ask you this, guys. Are you a late comer? No. Oh. No. La risa lo delata, right? So, let's see. All right. No. All right. Very good, very good. 
So thank you everybody for helping me with this one right here. All right, and now we are going to uh, see how well you can identify those two, those words, let's see. You will see here. Okay, I have a game for you. All right. I'm gonna send it to the chat people, please. Click on that one and join that, all right? So it's gonna be here. It's the vocabulary review. All right, and it goes like this. Do you see it? Yes. Yes, excellent, all right. So thank you guys for uh, helping with this one. So what you have to do, you click on WhatsApp, Oh, sure, no problem. All right. So le el mensaje, I mean el link que les mandé. All right. You can actually uh, click on that one. All right. Y luego cuando ya estén en la pantalla que ven ahorita a continuación, solamente le dan click en uh, start game. All right. Ahí está. All right. So you go on this one. Yes, then WhatsApp also. All right, so ready to play? You go begin. Y vamos a buscar las que acabamos. You're welcome. Las palabras que acabamos de ver. Aquí están. Ustedes se fijan a un lado. All right, so entonces ustedes empiezan a buscarla ahí. All right, so hmm, we will see who is actually. Hmm. All right, all right. Let me know when you finish. Let me know when you finish. All right, so you're gonna start practicing. For example, you do it like this one. Ooh, Automatically. Exactly, so you continue with the rest there. All right, questions, 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 questions. Mm -hmm. You finished? Yes, yes. Questions, questions. I finish. Excellent. That was so fast. All right. So send the screenshots to the um, to the WhatsApp group, please. Okay. All right. And not los demás terminan. Yo voy a pasar lista. All right. Así que please feel us inside present. Okay, one second. A smile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Besides Nancy, anybody else finish? Again, aparte de Nancy, ya terminó. Mm. All right, excellent, thank you. Okay, let's see.
Ok, excelente. Vamos con asistencia. All right, so let's see. Apner, Adoni, Molina. Abner, Abner. Well. All right, Alexa, Cibrian. She's there. All right, Ana Elizabeth Melendez. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mr. Pardo Camacho. No. All right. There you go. Oops. David Munguia. All right. Neftali Medina. Present teacher. Thank you. Erlene Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Irma eh, Martinez. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco. Está. Y vamos. There you go. Jose Daniel Castro. Present. Thank you. Carla Milena. Present. All right, Luis Humberto. He's there, but not answering. All right, Mr. Kevin Cortez. Okay. Veamos Maria Castro. Present teacher. Marta Castillo, thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio Ruano. Present teacher. Thank you. Nancy Ochoa. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Menjibar. Oscar Giovanni Menjibar. Yes, aquí está. Ok, excelente. Oscar Humberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Ramírez. Right. Eh, Sandra Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Martinez. Present teacher. And William Giovanni. Present. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. So I just check attendance. You guys finished? Yes or no? Oh, teacher. All right, what happens? There you go, excellent. Present Kevin is the key, all right, thank you. Okay, let's see here. I can see I'm on the cuatro in the group of the WhatsApp. En cien segundos, la primera. Vamos a ver otro, 162 segundos. Nancy, very good. Eli, well done. Uh, Mr. Medina, okay, good job. Marisol, good job. All right, excellent, thank you. I can see you guys have been uh, practicing right here. Thank you so much on this one. Okay, excellent. So if you already practice, do you have questions about the vocabulary? Yes or no? No questions? Okay, if you don't have questions right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go to the next activity here, all right, which is the following. So we're going to go to the manual right now. So to check this one, the point number two right here, and it says, choose five words from the word search and write a sentence for each one. So tenemos estas palabras que son las que hemos estado trabajando. Those were the questions, I mean, the words that we have been practicing. Y ahora vamos a escoger cinco de esas diez y vamos a crear una oración por cada una. All right. So, for example, digamos here, eh, polite. Vamos a usar la palabra polite. Vamos a crear una oración con la palabra polite. All right. So, I, oops, sorry. 
I have to be polite with others. And that's it. Ya tenemos aquí la palabra polite, as you could see it, right? So that's just like the whole thing right here. Understand, people? Yes? Hello? Hello, hello? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita? Hello. Eh, coger cinco palabras y hacer una oración por cada uno. That is correct. Escoger cinco palabras y hacer una oración por cada una, como el ejemplo que les acabo de dar ahí. All right. So eh, that's actually what happens here. Vamos a trabajar en los rooms, en parejas, right? So you can actually work y ayudarse para las oraciones. Si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, háganmela saber. Con muchísimo gusto, I will help you. All right? So, let's go. Teacher, sin querer le di cancelar. ¿Quién fue el de eso? Neftali. Erling. No, Neftali. Neftali, all right, don't worry, Neftali. Ahorita te agregamos. ¿Estarás participando o como oyente? Como oyente, es que por rato me llamo el teacher. No se preocupe, don't worry. All right, so lo vamos entonces a mandar aquí a otro. All right. Daniel, let's see, Nef no, Neftali was it, right? Neftali. Estamos Neftali. Erling, what happens? Estamos. No sé qué ver o no. No dijo, no dijo tiempo, ¿verdad, teacher? Solamente la... la But you have to use the word. That's the main thing. Here. It can be in past or present. No problem. Right. Here. Questions? Profe, Irma está sola, dice. Ahorita las traemos para acá, de hecho. Ah, chis. All right. Ok, Irma. Hello, Irma. Hello, teacher. Vaya, no está sola hoy, my friend. You're not alone anymore. Oye, no. Me right. acompaña a estos muchachos. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Uh, we are going to write five sentences, okay? Five sentences using Cinco the words. Cinco oraciones. Ajá. Cinco oraciones. Lo, lo, con las palabras que acabamos de, de repasar, right? Ah, ok. Ah, va. Uh -huh. Listo. Thank All you. Right. Hola. Hola. Mister, le acabo de mandar para que se cambie a otro a otro room. Ah, ok, teacher. Ahí está. Ya le dio. Yes. All right. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, hello. Hola, Carla. Hello, teacher. Hola, teacher. Estaba fallando el internet. Ya me encuentro. Ok. All right. 
¿Ya has hecho alguna, Carla? No, ahorita estaba escogiendo la, la cinco. Pero, ah. ¿qué? ¿Son cinco por cada una o cinco entre los dos? No, son cinco por todas. Ah, ok. Teacher, una yes. pregunta. Dígame. Eh, para puntual, podría usar I have to get home on the time. Eh, on the time. Lo, lo que pasa es que no me está usando la palabra punctual. Right? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y punto sí, el, el, el adjetivo. Entonces, yo tengo que ser puntual. Yo tengo que. En el... Sí, sí, porque yo, yo estaba escribiendo. Tengo que estar como a tiempo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O sea, es como ¿Podrías, puntual, pero. Podrías agregar eso que acabas de mencionar y decir: Yo tengo que estar a tiempo todos los días. Por eso soy puntual, por ejemplo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Ah, okay. Sí, está bien. Uh -huh. Vaya, ya llevamos cuatro. ¿no? Excelente. ¿Cuál utilizamos? Ya la última. Solución. Vaya, eso sería saludo. Mm. ¿Qué podemos ver? Mm. quiero ver. Y si usamos la comer. La comer. Ajá. Uh -huh. Podríamos ponerle, por ejemplo, él llega tarde o comer. Remember que late comer, comer es un adjetivo, ¿verdad? Llegar tarde. Ajá, no. pero es un adjetivo, o sea, es una persona tardista. Eso podríamos decir, ah, por ejemplo, ah, eh, Marta is a late comer. She comes late every ah, day, por ejemplo. Okay. Ah, ok. Entonces, pongamos así este: hmm, un nombre. Pedrito is late comer every day. No, Pedrito is a late comer. A late comer. Ajá. Okay. 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 Especificar, ¿verdad? Okay. 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 He comes late every day. He is a late comer every day in the world. Mm. Eh, Así es, no, es correcto. At the world. O in the world. Ah, Perito es a latecomer. Es late. Así, mire. Pedrito es a latecomer. He comes late every day. Pedrito es un tardista y viene tarde todos los días. Así. Ok. Ok, thank you. All right, very good. Very good job, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So questions? No questions? Mm -hmm. eh, tenemos, bueno, la, 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 las oraciones que tenemos son las siguientes. Eh, el, I am punctual in my work. Mm -hmm. We have a good manners. Um, yo le quitaría el A, porque como dice manos. Okay. Uh, okay, we have good manners. Correct. Uh, lo sería my best regards of the day. 
Okay. Uh, the kids have a bad behavior. The kids have a bad behavior. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bueno, y la última de Pedrito. Esa está perfect, por supuesto, of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, no problem. All right. So, we'll go to the other breakout rooms to see how the people are doing, and then I will uh, call you to the main class, okay? Okay. Bueno, ¿cómo están los otros breakout rooms? Y cuando terminemos, nos vamos a regresar, okay? Bueno, gracias. All right. Thank you. Homework. Hello. In the home. Hello, teacher. Questions? Uh, uh, guidelines. What's the mean? Como lineamientos. Yeah, ahí no, no hay como, como hacer una. Ah, okay, no problem. So, uh, no, no, for example, o por ejemplo, Ricardo. I have to follow the new guidelines. Así, mira. I have to follow the new guidelines. Tengo que seguir los nuevos lineamientos. Fácil, ¿va? Ah, ok. Mire, ahorita hemos puesto estas, no sé si le parecen bien. I have not been, I have, o oh, I have it to be latecomer on the meeting. No he sido un tardista en la reunión. No. Debo, no debo ser. Ah, I have not. ah no, 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 no. Eh, I have not es este, un auxiliar que se utiliza para el presente. Perfecto. ¿Verdad? Su, ah, significado, ajá, su significado sería el yo no he. Ay, es cierto, tiene razón. Tendría que ser... I no, don't have. Y, y si ocupa... Y si se ocupa como el no debo. Ahí tendría que ser. I don't have. Mustn't. I mustn't. Ajá, oh, es cierto. Puede ser así, mire. I must be a newcomer or I don't have to be. I must not. Mm -hmm. Cualquiera de esas dos I podría ser. I must be. Ajá. En esta otra también tendría que ser con must. Eh, you must you must be punctual with your with your homework. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You, you must be you must be punctual with your homework. Correct. Entonces ya tenemos las cinco. Excellent. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. We are ready. We are ready. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Vamos a ver cómo están los demás y ya un ratito vamos a regresar a la main class. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. You. Please give, give my best regards to all of your friends. My best regards to all your friends. Good. Yes. Approved. Approved. <laughs> <laughs> um, all my friends. Questions? Friends. Yes, how to pronounce the... Prepare the following extensive, extensio. Mm -hmm. Como extensive, mm -hmm. algo así. Extensive. Oh, extensive. Extensive. And, extensive. Ah, okay, extensive. Mm -hmm. Extensive and. Ajá, 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 ajá. Me dijo, me dijo. <laughs> and the other ones, uh, the letter B, O, W. Bow. B-O-W. Like bow? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. She made a polite, polite bow to me. Pero ese bow es como, así como, eh, como lo que se saludan en los chinos. En español sería, ella me hizo una referencia Re con tres. Correcto, como los chinos, así. Porque pones Japanese. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Bueno, vamos entonces a regresar a la main room right now para escuchar algunos examples. All right. Okay. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are just waiting for everybody else to join the class again. Questions, questions. Okay, let's see here, everybody. You ready? Yes. Okay, excellent. So let's see right now. Let's just go ahead and check this again so we can continue with this one. All right, who wants to give me um, a sentence that, that from the ones you created? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. All right, Mary, tell me, what is it? Uh, guidelines. Mm -hmm. The guidelines have been prepared uh, following extensive research and consultations. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So research, research. Um guidelines have been prepared as you prepared. Have been prepared, uh, uh, prepared following uh -huh. extensive extensive research and consultation. Research. We're gonna stop it right here. Extensive research. research. Guidelines have been prepared okay. following extensive research. Yes? Research. Yes, excellent. yes. Thank you. Thank you for the number one. All right. Excellent, excellent. So, by lo siguiente, que no podemos usar guidelines. All right. So, let's see. There you go. Uh, oh, Carlita, tell me. Um, manners. Um, uh -huh. She's a girl with good manners. She no more. <laughs> With manners. All right. With so, good manners. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. That's what I said. All right. So good manners. Very good. Thank you, Corita. Thank you very much for this one. Marta, please tell me. I am punctual in my work. Punctual. In my, I will change to work for job. All right. Thank you. All right, all right, thank you. Anybody else? Ya tenemos tres. Oh, Erlin, tell me. Hello, okay. Uh, you must, you mustn't be latecomer on the meeting. Mustn't be latecomer. Comer to the meeting. All right, excellent. So, eh, no, debe, no debes de ser un tardista en la reunión. All right, excellent. And the last one, Mr. Mauricio Rano, tell me. Go ahead. Thank you, Erling. All right, so let's okay. see. I like to be polite always. I like to always be polite. All right. Estuvo bien, solamente hay que cambiar el polite, el always, perdón, para después del tú. I like to always be polite. Or I always like oh. to be polite. De hecho, creo que iría aquí. I always like to be polite. I always like to be polite. 
All right. Um, very thank good you. excellent thank you all right that was actually super good you know i didn't have to ask too many times for the volunteers you gave me you gave me actually an amazing example right here all right excellent so antes de continuar con la siguiente actividad all right so eh, necesito hacerles un pequeño recordatorio y tiene que ver con eh, el siguiente módulo right So, ya les mandé un mensaje hace un par de días, ¿verdad? Pero eh, me acaban de solicitar que les recuerde, por favor, que eh, ya está en, eh, iniciado el proceso de reinscripción para el próximo módulo de clases de inglés, ¿verdad? Para principiante 4, para lo cual es necesario que usted pueda solicitar o recordar a su empresa de la documentación de reinscripción, ¿verdad? Esa documentación tiene que ver con eh, la fotocopia de la planilla correspondiente al mes de marzo, eh, actualización de formulario de inscripción eh, que acá como comentan ya se ha enviado a recursos humanos de sus empresas y la fecha límite para la inscripción será el 18 de mayo y la fecha tentativa del siguiente módulo está por ahorita para el día 22 de mayo right? so, es muy importante eh, que si usted ya no continuará en el siguiente módulo lo haga saber a sus encargados y también a la eh, academia para que eh, evite cualquier malos entendidos entonces porque si se reciben los documentos pues se da por hecho de que usted continuará en el siguiente módulo ¿verdad? y eh, también se les pide ¿verdad? Solicita, se les solicita que pueda finalizar este módulo en el cual usted está inscrito ok y por ahí el mensaje que creo que lo voy a reenviar en el grupo para que usted pueda volver a verlo y esté pendiente ahí y junto con el contacto de eh, una señorita de atención al cliente para que cualquier duda usted pueda directamente contactarse con ella, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta o comentario acerca de este recordatorio? No. Perfect. No problem. All right. With that being said, let's just. Hello, continue. teacher. Yes. Oh, tell me, Mauricio. Oh, solo una pregunta. Este, ¿En qué nivel de la tarea tenemos que estar hasta el momento? Eh, ahorita, esta es la sesión, si no me equivoco. 14 o 15. Let me check. All right. Ahorita le confirmo. One sec. Veamos. One second, one second. There you go. Quince creo que es dicho. Actualmente estamos en la quince, correcto, en el vocabulary practice. Hace falta cinco más. All right, so, entonces, este, deben de tener sus tareas, por menos ahorita hasta la catorce. Right? Y el examen obviamente ya hecho. El primero, el de midterm. Ok, teacher, thank you. Thank you, and thank you ahí por el recordatorio, eh, William. All right, so. Good, good, good. Thank you, thank you. All right, so questions? No questions? Okay, no problem. So let's just continue right now, ladies and gentlemen, and this is what we are going to be talking about um, tonight, all right? So it says right here, vamos a ver si ustedes se recuerdan de este tema que vimos a uh, um, couple of days ago, and it's about, would you mind? And cool you. All right. Algo que ustedes deben de recordar es um, que cuando usamos will you mind, right? Will you mind. El verbo va después con ing. You know, plus ing. Por ejemplo, sería would you mind calling her? ¿Y cómo traducirías esta oración que acabo de, esa pregunta que acabo de enviar ahí, al del chat ahorita? ¿Te importaría llamarle a ella? 
Exactly, llamarle. No sería como llamarle, sino que llamarle. Right? So, ¿por qué se usa el ing? Porque usamos el gerundio por el auxiliar would ahí. Right? Y la palabra mind. That's the reason why. ¿Cómo dirías entonces? ¿Te importaría limpiar el escritorio? Would you? Would you? Clean. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Remember. Perdón, perdón, perdón. Would you? You might. Would you might. Cleaning the desk. Exactly. Would you mind cleaning the desk? Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right. How do you say, for example, um, ¿te importaría imprimir el reporte? Mm -hmm. Would you mind Would you print like? out the report? Yes, just remember that it's printing out with ING. Ay, sí. Yes, 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 yes. All right, pero sí estuvo bien ese verbo. All right, excellent. Y cuando usamos el could you, all right, el verbo va en su base form. So no changes, no ing, right? So for example, could you do me a favor? All right, tenemos esta ahí. Could you do me a favor? ¿Qué se quiere decir? ¿Me puedes hacer un? Favor. Un favor, exactly, right? So you were doing good. All right, so, or how do you say, for example, ¿Podrías traerme un café? No, porque no he dicho yo te importaría, right? Sino que pregunté, ¿podrías? Ajá, nada más. To pick up uh, a coffee. All right. El pick up sería como like, right? Are you a coffee? All right, excellent. All right, so we'll bring bring this one. could you bring me a cup of coffee? All right, so traeme una taza de café. Ojo, remember que la palabra café, all right, so in English es incontable. Por tal motivo no podemos decir solamente a coffee. Tenemos que usar la medida. En este caso, una taza de café. All right, so understand? Yes, thank you. Excellent, thank you. All right, so now what are we going to do? We are going to try to find, look at this one. Dice acá que vamos a encontrar, eh, it says identify and correct three mistakes. All right, entonces de estas cinco, tres van a estar equivocadas. Vamos a ir una por una, all right? ¿Quién me quiere ayudar a leer la number one? Who wants to help me to read number one? Uh -huh. Just reading, just reading. Solo para leer, después la resolvemos juntos. Uh -huh. teacher. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Erling. Uh, would you mind moving your car? It's blocking mine. Thank you very much. Excellent. So it says right here, uh, would you mind moving? All right. So do you think this is correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Incorrect. Incorrect. Bueno, tendremos que acudir a las encuestas. Entonces, like to see what happens. All right. So, let's see this one. It says right here. Veamos, veamos. I bought a pool. One second. It's loading, it's loading. Okay. So, let's see here. Let's see. What is it? Correct or incorrect? There you go. Excellent. So there you go. Excellent. Uh huh. Tell me, correct or incorrect? Number one. Okay, 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 okay. Six people have participated. Let's see the rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Casi, casi parejo, people. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. Okay, answer that one. Very good, very good. Empate 50-50. Oh my God, oh my God. All right, so let's see. What else, what else, what else? Estamos desempatar ahí, people. All right. ¿Qué hizo los demás? Correct or incorrect? Hello, hello, los demás. Yes, yes, yes. Correct or incorrect? 
All right, excellent. Nos quedamos 50 y 50 otra vez. All right, so let's see. 50% says correct and 50% is as incorrect. But this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, it will be correct. All right, so why is it correct? Porque tiene el would you mind y luego el verbo tiene ing. All right, so like this one right here. ING. That's the reason why. All right. So, estuviera incorrecta si el verbo estuviera en forma base, for example, o no tuviera el would you, solamente tuviera el, el, el verbo así, right? So, but this is actually correct. Thank you. Thank you, everybody who participated. All right. Okay. Who wants to help me with number two? All right. Who wants to help me with number two here? All right. Just to read it. Number two. What is it? Incorrect. 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 Vamos a ver que me ayuda a leerla. Uh -huh. You could kill this purchase order. There you go. Excellent. ¿Por qué está incorrecta esta? Antes del verbo. Uh -huh. Porque primero tiene que ir. Uh -huh. Primero tiene que ir. Could. Yes or no? Yes. This one is supposed to be here. Could you feel this purchase order? Porque es una pregunta y en la pregunta siempre va a ir primero el auxiliar. So the auxiliary is always first. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What about number three? Number three, number three. All right. So what about number three, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think is correct? Is it correct? Correct. Tendremos que volver a la pool here. All right. So. Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. okay. All right, ahí vamos otra vez. Correct or incorrect? Votemos, let's vote. All right, so. Hay quien cambió el voto ahí. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. Let's see. 50-50. All right. There you go. 50-50. Dice que está incorrecta la mayoría. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. Correct. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Híjole, 50-50 otra vez. Ahora dicen que está correcta. Oh, my goodness. Ha cambiado los resultados. All right. Pasó de incorrecta a correcta. It moved from incorrect to correct. All right. So, un voto más. And that's it. All right. Excellent. So, let's see. Dice la mayoría que it's actually... Um, let's see here. You see? People say here that it's correct. Mm -hmm. Like the majority of them. But this is not correct. Why is not correct? Mm -hmm. Falta el mind. Exactly. Ese que sería would you. Y aquí tendría que ir el mind. All right. Would you mind sending this invitation to your assistant? All right. Thank you. So, yeah. This one right here. It's incorrect. All right. Thank you. What about number four? Number four, number four. Yes. What is it? It's correct. Correct. It's correct. Correct. Yeah. Look at this one. It has. Would correct. you mind? You mind. I no problem. So it is correct. Absolutely right. Very good. And the last one, the last one, the last one. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. incorrect. What happens there? Excuse me. Verbo lleva ing. Exactly, right. Aquí tenemos un verbo con ing que we don't need to use right here porque estamos utilizando could y con could el verbo va in base form here. All right, excellent. Thank you, everybody. You have been doing an amazing job here. All right. So, hey, do you have any uh, other question? Tell me, Mauricio. Una pregunta, teacher. ¿Por qué en orden son lleva ING? Excuse me. 
porque en ordin in time ing. Se refiere al número cuatro usted. Yes. All right, porque aquí estamos usando would you mind y con would you mind utilizamos ing. Entonces aquí sería, ¿te importaría ordenar algo para comer? Ok. All right. Y, y me preguntó sobre otra, pero no la escuché. ¿Cuál era? Sobre la misma teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Entonces esa sería la razón. Yo, porque estamos yo tengo una duda, teacher, con what you think tiene que ver en my. Claro. That's the correct, the complete expression. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Así es. Esa es la, la expresión correcta. Te, para decir, te importaría. Yes. Dejaron, the rest. ¿Alguien más? No more questions. All right, excellent. So we can continue right now with the next activity here. All right, excellent. So it's going to be activity number four right here. Okay. So for the activity number four, we have here. Uh, as you could see here, we have here the five questions, right? Five questions and then two possible answers. All right, and I need you to help me, right? So que me ayuden, reading the question and selecting one of the two answers here. All right, yes. Que me den a leer, no solo me digan si sí, esta o A o B, sino que me tienen que dar a leer la pregunta y la respuesta. Yes. All right, excellent. So who's going to be my volunteer? Would you mind tonight the lights on? All right, thank you. Solo recuerde, please remember, this is turning, turning. Turning, turning. Very Would good. you mind turning the, last, the lights on? All right, excellent. So, no problem. No problem, yes or no? No. All right. Oh my God, tendríamos que irnos por encuesta. All right, so. Uh -huh. What is it? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. All right, yes or no? What's it here, people? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. No, like this ones. The what is that? Those. Yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I would. Por qué sería yes, I would? Porque así inicia la pregunta con auxiliar. <laughs> All right, pero traduzcamos la pregunta. ¿Cómo se traduciría into Spanish? ¿Te importaría encender las luces? Ajá, y si yo te, te respondiera, si yo te respondiera no en problem. español, ¿sí me importaría? Uh -huh. No. Es como que no la vaya. Uh, entonces, por eso digo yo que no, I wouldn't. No, pero no, I wouldn't no, está, no es una opción. <laughs> Ahí no aparece. Problem es, o sea, no como quien dice, no, no hay problema. Estamos en la uno. Sí, lo haría. <laughs> All sí, right, lo haría, teacher. Right. Yes, I will. Eh, entendamos something right here. La pregunta uno dice, would you mind turning the lights on? Que sería, ¿te importaría encender las luces? Si yo te respondo en español, sí me importaría, ¿qué te estoy queriendo dar a entender? Que no lo quiere hacer. Exactly. <laughs> que me molesta, right? So, pues no lo quiero hacer. Pero si yo te digo, eh, mira, te importaría hacer las luces, no hay problema. Quiere decir que lo voy a hacer. Yes or no, people? Yes. 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 Entonces, ¿cuál sería la respuesta correcta? No problem. No problem. No problem. Right now. Exacto. No problem. No problem. No problem. Mm, por ahí veo un par de faces que no están muy convencidos de la respuesta. A ver, ¿tienen una duda? Díganmela ahorita, con mucho gusto, para que quede claro. Yes. ¿No están convencidos todavía? En el camino, teacher. En el y camino. después. <risa> Me pueden perder en el camino. All right, so you can't get lost. 
No, a mí, a mí me gusta escuchar otras opciones, entonces ya después, si yo no, no estoy convencida, entonces ahí sí. Va, all right. <risa> uh, for example, Nancy, veamos. En Spanish, of course, all right. Usted me puede responder solamente, Nancy, me puede responder en español, no hay problema, o sí me importaría, ¿ok? Y no podría decirle, no, no me importa. Right. So, <risa> eh, ya, yeah, no si sí puede ser esa una respuesta, Ajá. no sería como una opción ahorita. Si yo le pongo esas dos opciones, usted me puede responder nada más, no hay problema, o si sí me importaría, y yo le pido este siguiente favor. Would you mind calling the boss? ¿Le importaría llamar al jefe? No, no me importaría. Es <ríe> que no, yo no entendí, yo creo. ¿Ah? No, quizás todavía no comprendo bien. Pasemos a la siguiente. No, Después... don't, worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. No se preocupe. All right. What happens is this one right here, ¿ok? Entonces, tenemos que entender qué significa la pregunta primero. La, pre la pregunta eh, se refiere acerca de si te generaría una molestia hacerme X favor, right? A eso se refiere la pregunta. Entonces, por eso uh -huh. dice, te importaría y luego el, el, la acción. En este caso, Entonces, ahí es donde me confundo. Usted me dice, te importaría y no, no me importaría. Uh -huh, exactly. Pero es ahí donde viene la confusión. Porque usted quiere usar, uh -huh. no me importaría. Eso quiere usar usted. Y en este caso, las opciones son nada más. No problem o yes, I would. No problem sería, no hay problema. Y el yes, I would sería, sí, sí me importaría. Entonces, vamos a ver, hágame usted una pregunta a mí, así en Spanish, con esa estructura de ¿te importaría? Las palabras o las opciones que están a la derecha no son las que deberíamos de utilizar. Son las que acabamos de select, exactly. O sea... Y vaya, por ejemplo, la cuarta. Uh -huh. Oh, Nancy, this, what happens is this one right here. Estamos así, ¿ve? ¿eh? Ah, ok. You got it? Ok. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Entonces, okay. lo que tenemos que seleccionar es una de estas dos aquí. Claro, no, yo no he dicho que no se pueda utilizar, por ejemplo, una de estas, right? Para no, completar. lo siento, teacher, ya vi. Ah, es que tenía la, 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 la barrita de, de, de las camaritas ahí y no veía la otra. Lo siento. Lo no siento. problem, no problem, no problem. Disculpa, no problem. disculpa compañero. No se preocupen. Recuerden que aquí estamos para aclarar dudas, ¿verdad? No hay pregunta pequeña o fácil. Siempre hay una pregunta que se pueda resolver. All right. And uh, let's continue with this one right here. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, number two. Number two, it says right here, could you order something to it, please? ¿Cuál de ustedes, eh, cuál de estas piensan que sería la opción correcta? Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Or it's pizza, okay? ¿Cuál sería la más apropiada? It's pizza, okay? It's pizza, okay? Unos van por pizza, okay? Y otros como yes, I could. ¿Cuál creen ustedes que sería la correctísima? Si solo pueden escoger una. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Y si les digo que las dos. <ríe> Pero ahí quizás tendría que ver un poco lo del formalismo, ¿no? Of o no tiene nada que ver. Of course, podría ser eso. Uh -huh. No quería la diferencia, right? But it makes a difference. Sí. Uh -huh. sí, podría hacerlo y a la vez le dice que podría ordenar. All right, exactly. That is correct. Entonces, por ejemplo, en este caso, si me, si me limito a responder el hecho de que sí puedo o no puedo hacerlo, all right, me quedaría con cuál? Con la... Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Exactly. So I would use this one right here. All right. Pero quizá en un entorno, de más, en un entorno de más confianza. All right. So, por ejemplo, viene mi compañera de trabajo y me dice, mira, puedes esperar algo de comer en ese entorno de confianza. Eh, puedo hacer de una sola vez it's pizza okay, it's chicken okay or whatever, right so that's just basically the whole thing there 
All right, excellent. So, estamos clean. Entonces, nos vamos a quedar con cuál al final. Yes, I could. Oops. Sorry. Yes, I could. Correct. Yes, I could. All right. So, could you request more Jumbo paper clips, please? ¿Cuál sería ahí? Right, right away. Right away. Uh -huh. ¿Y qué significa ese right away? Ahora mismo. Este momento, ahora mismo. Exacto. Right now. Right now, yes. Entonces nos quedamos con esa, yes. There you go, excellent. And what about the number four? Number four will be there. Would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? In a minute. In a minute. No, I In a minute. Aha, la mayoría se ha ido por in a minute. All right, so. No, I couldn't, I think. Aha, Nancy, so I wouldn't. No, I would. I, oh, sí, hoy sí puedo usar el no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Right, so. Sí, teacher, es que no veía las otras respuestas. <laughs> <laughs> por las otras opciones, perdón. No yes. problem. All right, so good, good, good. Vayan, pero por ejemplo, Nancy, en este caso, eh, tenemos la opción no hay wooden, que también podría uh -huh. ser para responder la pregunta número uno. All right. Y de hecho, uh -huh. de hecho, esta sería la respuesta correcta en el número cuatro. No hay wooden. That would be the correct answer in the number four. All right. And it's this one. ¿Por qué? Why is it no I wouldn't? Eh, ¿Le importaría sacar de copias? No, no me importaría o no para nada. All right. Porque in a minute, all right, sería como like en un momento, y no en un minuto. Como no ahorita, all right. So like that. Entonces nos quedamos con esa. All right. Y la última. Excuse me. Could you turn down the volume a bit? ¿Cuál sería? Mm -hmm. Yes, I could no, or no problem. Okay, so no, no problem. Yes, I could. All right, nos quedamos con not a problem. All right. Yes, yes, yes. All right, excellent. So like this one. Nos están pidiendo de favor que le bajemos el volumen a la música. Eh, entonces ahí sí, no hay problema. No podemos hacer, right? So like that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now. Para concluir esto, to conclude this one, people, I need you to understand something. No quiere decir que solo se puede responder de una o de otra manera específica. Ahí depende de nosotros la idea que queramos dar o que queramos transmitir to the other person, right? Um, so, for example, um, you know, por ejemplo, en la cuatro, donde dice, would you mind getting 10 copies of this report? La mayoría acordamos, no, I wouldn't, all right? So, que podría ser esa, pero se puede decir también en un momento, en un minuto, all right? So we can actually say this one as well, and that would be okay, porque per, perhaps tú ahorita estás ocupado, pero en un momento se lo haces, right? Good, excellent. Questions? No questions? Questions, 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 questions. No questions? Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, all right, all right. So we are going to continue right now with the next activity right here. All right, so. Okay, now we're going to talk about this one. We are going to talk about that suggestion. Look, suggestion, suggestion, suggestion. Is it a suggestion, people? Sugerencia. Una sugerencia, all right? Entonces tenemos aquí, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So tenemos here, eh, you know, like five sentences or five scenarios. Y ustedes tienen que pensar en cuál sería una posible sugerencia para ellos, right? So, for example, um, let's say this one. Este no está aquí, pero lo vamos a agregar para que ustedes vean cómo va a funcionar esto. All right? So, let's say this one right here. All right? Vamos a ver un nombre. Pepita is gossiping a lot. Ese sería el, el escenario here. 
All right, Pepita is gossiping a lot. ¿Qué significa Pepita is gossiping a lot? Es muy chistoso. All right, que Pepita anda ahí, eh, you know, diciendo muchos gossips, right? Muchos chismes. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la sugerencia? Vamos a ver. ¿Ustedes recuerdan cómo se dice, eh, you know, cómo se, cómo, qué, qué auxiliar, I'm sorry, se usa eh, para las sugerencias? Hello? Mm -hmm. Hello? Chul. Exactly, chul, el deberías, right? Entonces, ¿qué le sugeriríamos aquí a Pepita? ¿Qué no deberías hacer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but in English, right? How do you say that? Pepita shouldn't. 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 Gossip anymore. Pepita ya no debería de andar gossiping, andar chismeando. All right. Excellent. Entonces ustedes eso es lo que van a hacer con estas cinco que tenemos acá. All right. So van a leer el... el um, Um, los enunciados, right? Like the sentences that you have there. And then van a proporcionar su sugerencia así como se ha hecho eh, en esto de aquí. All right? So this one. You got it? Yes? Estamos, people? Hello, hello. Yes or no? Ito. Yes. Ito. Wow, good, excellent. Entonces, en este momento, people, los voy a mandar a break rooms y en el grupo de WhatsApp les voy a enviar la captura de esta exercise para que trabajen ahí. All right? Yes. Bueno, como estábamos working. Démosle, pues. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Right. Very good, very good. All right. All right. Here you go. Teacher, vuelvo a mandar porque no sé pasar la room seven, but I don't know what happened. Ahí estaba en la en la seven. ¿Y dónde está ahorita? Usted aquí va. ¿A quién dejó solo usted ahí? A Sonia, mire. <risa> lo voy a mandar a las 5, ahí lo voy a mandar a ella también. Bueno. Ok, ok. Thank you. Bueno. There you go. Dele ahí. Me. Okay, maybe she moved then. Oh yeah, she's there. Perfect. All right, let's listen to them. Um, this is Aaron Cadeja de hablar por teléfono cuando almorzamos. Ajá, de chatear. Ajá. Entonces sería como de que Sara debería eh, parar de chatear. Ajá. Espérame. Sara should stop. O stop. Sara. 
Questions, questions, questions. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Tell me. En el, okay, in el caso que dice. <laughs> y Maria se fue. Never stop. <laughs> All right, so. Me dejo. <laughs> yeah, me. All right. Ajá, me dijo, perdón, disculpe. Sorry. Uh -huh. but, no, no problem, teacher. Me sería. Eh, stops siempre llevaría la S. Si, si dijera Sara shoot stops. No, ahí sí ya no. Se le quita por el auxiliar. Correcto. Ah, ok. Just that teacher. All right, no problem. So, vamos a ver qué se hizo María para traerla. Si no, vamos a mover a. <risa> eh, ¿Dónde está la María? Se fue. The plant would like to walk. Ok, vamos a irnos al, al room 6. Ahí está María. Nada, perdí. Alright, so that she was lost. <laughs> Right. Ok. Let's, ahí te le mando para que se mueva. Ahí está. He should call me with his cell phone. Ok, ya tenemos dos. Uy, no, ¿cuál falta es? la 3. ¿Cuál es la 3? En español la 3. Mm -hmm. Y después la... <risa> hmm, dice el teacher. Eh, Jimena y Susan take me... Se toman fotos. muchas fotos, creo, cuando están bien, trabajando. Bien. ¿Cuál sería la recommendation ahí? Uh, they they must leave the his uh, their cell phone. They must. En el almuerzo podrías. Jimena. Sí, verdad, Tich. Yes. They they should use uh, their cell phone in the lunch. Uh -huh. They should use their cell phone. Okay. In the is at the lunch or in the lunch? Uh, you can say during lunch, de hecho. During the lunch? During during lunch, así nomás. During the lunch. During lunch. During lunch, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. During lunch. All right. Okay, they should use their cell phone during, during lunch. Más bien, tenemos la tercera. All right. Any other? Uy, mandé el day con una N. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know. All right. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you, teacher. Thank you.
Hello. Hello. Pablo. Estamos en el número cuatro. Uh -huh. uh, eh, tenemos dudas con la traducción. Okay, tell me, what do you understand? Publica un letrero. Como que Pablo publica un letrero que dice no es un no es buen tiempo. El ex en la puerta de su oficina. Uh -huh. Su equipo, su equipo le habla. Uh -huh. No, vaya. Dice ahí, este, for example, it says right there, Pablo puso una señal de not a good time, como no es buen momento, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. O sea, que no quiere que le hablen, basically, right? Uh -huh. So, in his office doors, so his team does not talk to him. Entonces, ¿cuál sería la recomendación yes. para Pablo? Socializar, pedir ayuda. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué creen mm -hmm. ustedes? Socializar. Uh -huh. He needs to take a vacation. <laughs> Ay, por ejemplo, he needs to take vacations. Él necesita vacaciones para que se relaje. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, exactly. Well, that could be another one. ¿De alguna otra? Uh -huh. Bye. Um, eh, la otra vamos a ver Graciela siempre tenía sus emails con emoji uh, no mm. no sé compañeros ustedes tienen duda pues parece que no right, so <laughs> we will go to the Vamos a esperar un par de minutos más para ver cómo terminen todos y luego regresamos a la main class. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Do you need help? Uh, just... Number two. Mm -hmm. No. Podemos estructurarla muy bien. Ajá, dígame, ¿cómo sería? Ah, es que sí. ahí le dice que a mi jefe no le gusta caminar para mi escritorio cuando necesita algo, sino que él le grita, creo, desde su escritorio. Entonces podríamos ponerla de que su jefe no debería gritarle. May, entonces ahí sería, ¿cómo sería su jefe? ¿Jefe de quién? Eh, para vos. Uh -huh. No. All right, so he said here, my boss shouldn't shout. Mi jefe no debería de gritarme. Exactly, shout at no, me. Pero no lo podemos a poner como, o sea, como que le estamos haciendo la sugerencia a Sara. Como uh -huh. el jefe de Sara no debería de gritarle. No, porque ella es este, una oración aparte, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ahí solo dice mi jefe, no tenemos un sujeto específico. Entonces, por eso lo vamos a utilizar como el jefe no debería de gritarle. Oh, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. 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 Ok, teacher. Entonces sería, lo podemos utilizar como mi jefe. Mi jefe, porque uh -huh. no tenemos like sujeto, ¿verdad? Okay, my, bo my boss shoot him. My boss. My boss shoot him. Mi jefe no debería shout. ¿Cómo se dice? Shout. Shout. Yes. Mi jefe no debería shout me, sería. Mm -hmm. No debería gritarme. Shout. Shout. It shouts at me. Uh -huh. Ah, shouts at, at me. me. Uh -huh. My boss shouts at no. me. My boss shouldn't shout shouldn't. at me. Uh -huh. At me. Okay. Uh 
Ok, la tres, Jiménez Susana toma muchas fotos. Ahí es Susana. Questions? No questions? No question, teacher. Perfect, no problem. Okay, so we're going to return to the main session, all right? Eh, ya va a regresar a todos, teacher. Yes, le falta, why? <laughs> number two. <laughs> hmm? Sorry. Hey, number two, oh my goodness. Voy a otra vuelta, pues I'm going to check another group. All right. Okay, teacher, thank you. All right. It must be formal. formal at the job. At the job. Hello, hello. How, how are you doing? Sure. La última estábamos haciendo ya. Perfect, 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 perfect. Estamos viendo lo de que dice que Graciela siempre eh, firma con emojis. All right, excellent. Well, let's go to the main session right now so we can hear your okay. suggestions, all right? El micrófono, teacher. All right. Yes, 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 yes. Ready, ready, ready. Just waiting for everybody else. Erling volunteer was sleeping. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So let's just check it out right now here. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So do I have a volunteer who can help me with number one? Number one, it says, Sara never it stops. Uh, chatting on the phone when we have lunch. What will be the suggestion? Mm -hmm. Any volunteer for this suggestion for number one? Uh, Sarah Shoren chatting on the phone. Mm -hmm. I have a pequeñitsimo error. What is it? Uh, mm -hmm. It says here, Sarah Shoren, uh, Sarah Shoren. Me dijo así. Chari, what's the mistake? Um, ¿Alguien ha identificado el error aquí? ING. Exactly. Like ah, exactly. Right. So, okay. Sara Shuren Chat. When we have lunch. Lunch. You got it? Excellent. So we're going this one. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So now, thank you guys. Let's go for the number two. Number two, it says, my boss does not like to walk to my desk when he needs something. He shouts at me from his desk. He says like, hello, come here. Oh my goodness. All right. What will be the recommendation here? Hmm? My boss shouldn't shout when he needs some time. Something. Something. Gracias. Shouldn't shout when he needs something. Excellent. Thank you, Nancy. That was correct. All right. My boss shouldn't shout when uh, he needs something. All right. So shout out oh, at me. All right. So, but yeah, you got it right there. Thank you. 
Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. Oh my God, all right. So, oh, and Elizabeth, tell me. Jimena and Susan shouldn't use the phone in the work. Shouldn't, shouldn't use? Uh, the phone, the phone. Yeah. Okay, it's like, like this? Yes. Uh, yes, <laughs> all right, so thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, but thank you for participating, Anna, good job. All right, number four, Pablo post the sign, not a good time in his office door, so his team does not talk to him. What would be the suggestion here, people? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Volunteer for number four. Oh, I got it right here. Paolo shouldn't put the sign on his office door. He is unkind. Ah, look, this is actually very nice. I liked it. Thank you, William. All right, so let's see here. It says, Pablo. All right, like this one. Shouldn't put the sign on his office door. He's unkind. It's muy grosero. All right, so thank you. All right, all right. Very good. The last one. Graciela always uh, sings, I'm sorry, signs uh, her emails with the emoji. All right, con este emoji que tenemos aquí. All right, uh -huh. what would be like the suggestion for this one, people? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Erlene, tell me what's the suggestion. Uh, let me see, let me see. She, uh, she should not. She shouldn't to use emojis in her emails. She must be formal at the job. She shouldn't use the uh, emojis. Emojis in her emails. In her emails. Like that, like that, like that. All right. Excellent. So very good, everybody. Please give a big applause to you because you were doing a very good job with the recommendations, right? Super simple, super, super simple. Muy, 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 muy buen trabajo with this one. Thank you. Do you have questions about vocabulary or any other word related to this exercise? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Hello? No? No questions? Yes or no, people? Eh, teacher, ahí se podría dar otra respuesta. No... ¿Cómo decirle? No repitiendo lo mismo. Por ejemplo, en Pablo, este, podría ser como lo que dijimos en el grupo. Day yeah. a vacation. Yeah, sure. O sea, otra sugerencia. Claro, aquí remember que no necesariamente tiene que repetir lo mismo, right? So, por ejemplo, eh, he should take vacations. Right, yeah, it's that sugerencia, right? So, eh, that's a different one. All right, so yes, no tiene que ser necesariamente repetir lo mismo de la situación, right? So, puede una sugerencia diferente, pero relacionada to the topic, right? Of course. Excellent. Any okay. other? Thank you, Anna. No more questions? Okay, excellent. So, let's go to the last activity for today. Ladies and gentlemen, all right, and it's going to be this one you can see right here. Let me just make it bigger for you. It's just this one right here, all right? All right, we are going to classify the salutations, all right? You know, salutations, easy, right? What was salutation, people? Do you remember? Salutation. Uh -huh. What was it? Los saludos, right? Uh, Yes, that's the meaning of this one. So, aquí tenemos un par of salutations, all right? And we are going to decide if it is informal or formal, right? So, si esto es formal, vamos a poner aquí un chequecito. Y si es informal, vamos a poner una X, all right? Yes, there you go, excellent. So, what about see you, people? Mm -hmm. 
Sería formal or informal? Formal. 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 Are you sure? Informal. Mm -hmm. Formal. Okay, I know this informal, other this an informal. So Nancy, what would you say that is informal? Porque solo es como ahí te veo. Ajá, como me parece. Vemos. All right. Ajá, so, nos vemos. Entonces no lleva go. nada de sí. So yes, I agree with you here. So we're going to have it as informal, right? So very good. Remember, informal X, informal check. All right. Hey, como para saludar. Hey, 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 hey. Formal or informal? Informal. Aquí sí no uh -huh. puede ver a otra opción, right? So it has to be informal. Very good. What's up? Informal. 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 So what about this one? My best, formal or informal? Informal. Formal. Mm -hmm. Tenemos ahí un formal. 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 Yes, it will be formal. Como like my best wishes, etc. Right? Okay. Just the word morning. Morning, morning, morning. Will that be formal, formal or informal? Formal. Informal. 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 Formal or informal? Mm -hmm. Informal. Informal. Yes, it is informal. And the reason is because it's not the complete greeting, right? It only says like morning. Right? Morning. Yeah, right? It's very different como like in Spanish, digamos, hey, días. All right? So, en lugar de decir buenos días. Or like in Spanish, we say in Salvador, buenas. All right? So, which is different. <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be like informal. So this one, like that, all right? Best regards, what is this one? Formal, formal. 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 Absolutely, with formal right here. All right, excellent. So in this one, mm -hmm. but informal, informal. informal. Last one, informal. All right, but what's the meaning? Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. Informal. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually uh, informal, right? Es una manera de abreviar la palabra think. All right. So great. And the last one, the last one, what informal. is it? Informal. informal. That's informal. That is correct. All right. All right. All right. Excellent. So what's the meaning for XOXO? Besos y abrazos, right? So, oh my God. Oh, my. No sé, actually, I never understood that one, right? To be honest. <laughs> All right, so. But Entendi anyway, so cosa. this is informal right here. All right? Estos eran unas eh, ideas here de lo que podía ser. Oops. Eh, this one right here. Ahora bien, let's say this one. Ya como último, vamos a trabajar en estos right here. Ya vimos unos ejemplos, ustedes lo clasificaron. Ahora ustedes denme sus propios examples de formal e informal. Vamos a ver, un formal, what is it? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, excellent. So we got this one. Good morning. Oops. Uh -huh. Good morning. Uh -huh. Un informal. Hi. 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 All right, excellent. So, formal? How are you? Excuse me? How, how are you? How, how are, are you? How are you? All right, and informal? What's up? What's up? What's up? All right, so. All right, so. And what about another mm -hmm. formal? Salutations. Salutations is the tema de los saludos, right? So, uh -huh. what is it? Mm -hmm. Acabamos de ver los people. Recuerden, Good evening. Despedidas. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. En informal sería solo good. All right. Good evening. 
evening or like nights. Puede ser las nights, right? Dale, escrito así, nights. All right, so like that Teachers, one. Teachers, mm -hmm. see you so. Excuse me? And see you so. See you soon. This one. Yes. yes. ¿Cuál sería esta? Formal or informal? ¿Dónde la dejamos? Informal. 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 I will this one right here. And this one right here. Que me acerco aquí. Greetings. Greetings, dice aquí, my friend. Ese sería informal. In greetings. There eh. we go. Uno más para this one. We meeting. are looking forward to seeing you. Esto es algo más formal. Esperamos verte. Right? Que, Yours uh, faithfully. Bien formal. Which one? Yours faithfully. Your faithfully. Yes, exactly. Right? Very good job. Excellent. Thank you guys for participating in all the activities tonight. You were doing an amazing job in every activity. Remember que este era un general review about all the topics from the unit three. All right, so, and then we are going to continue tomorrow, uh, Friday, we start with the last unit, which is unit number four, all right? So I, uh, do you have any question? No? No. No questions? Well, if you don't have any more questions, so I will let you go and I will see you tomorrow, right? So have a wonderful night. Take care, everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.